and welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be installing the timing cover as well as the oil pan now, i'm going to try to do things a little bit different in this video meaning no heavy editing no loud music or anything like that you may think that i muted the volume or lowered it but that's just not the case i actually prefer to work in silence uh, no music no one around to bother me i just like to stay focused when i'm doing this type of work so I'm going to try something different with the video format and I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to try to keep commentary to a minimum. Here's the original cover that I was going to use. As you can see I spent the time to clean it and paint it but I decided to go a different route. Here's a funny shot because you can see my daughter's bottle in the background and that's how I know she's been lurking around here. It's kind of like dropping your wallet at the crime scene. <laughs> now as far as this crank seal or timing cover seal, whatever you want to call it, I'm not sure if it was supposed to go on dry or with lube so eh, I took a chance. I put oil on it uh, just to help it go in. And sure, I could have installed the cover on the engine and then tried to install it, but I just thought it was way easier to install it right now and do it the easy way. <laughs> One thing I'm really picky about is the amount of silicone I put on an engine because it could work its way into your oil pan and eventually clog up your oil pickup and just causes all kinds of problems at that point. You got to consider that these surfaces are machined flat so they're going to butt up right against each other and you just need the silicone to take up those really minor you know, imperfections and things like that. So there's no reason to lay down a real heavy thick bead of silicone that's just going to squeeze out and end up inside your engine. If you're installing a skunk tube timing cover like I have here, you want to pay attention to the instructions because there are different length bolts and they go in specific locations. So it's just something to keep in mind. Now I actually forgot to clean this surface right here. Number one to get the paint off of it and number two to get off the assembly lube that's dripping out of it. So after I put this top half of the cover on I actually have to remove it, clean everything once again and then reinstall it. But I'm not going to put you through that trouble of watching all of that.
because the timing cover is a two-piece design i don't want to take any chances on oil leaking out of here so i just put a thin layer of silicone on here make sure it really gets in that gap and just wiped off the excess It's been over 24 hours since I installed the timing cover, so now we can focus on the oil pan. Once again, I'm using coffee filters and brake parts cleaner to go ahead and clean up the surface. Again, to get off any uh, assembly lube or spray paint that's on the surface to make sure that the silicone can stick well and not have any issues. And thumbs up for anyone who knows what the RPD is. For the initial bead of silicone, I'm going to go on the inside of each bolt hole uh, because that's pretty much what prevents the oil from seeping out in the first place. But once I'm done with this initial bead, I'm going to go around to each bolt hole and pretty much do a full 360 around it with silicone just to give it a fighting chance. Although I doubt it's going to leak, it should be okay. Once the oil pan made contact with the engine, I tried not to move it at all. I put two or three bolts in here just to keep everything aligned, but I actually let it sit for about an hour as per the instructions from the silicone. And after an hour, I came back and I started to install all of the bolts now and uh, started to apply some pressure here. If you're using the original timing cover, you might be able to use these bolts that were supplied with the oil pan. You can see they're a little bit longer, but they're just too long for this aftermarket timing cover and they don't fit. They actually bottom out. So as you can see, I tried a shorter bolt, but it was still too long. So I have to find one that's really short uh, just for right now to be able to clamp everything down while the silicone is drying. And please excuse the mess. I have tools and boxes laying everywhere. <laughs> So as you can see, I did find some old bolts to put in here. They're really short, so they work perfectly. Uh, once the silicone is 100% dried, I'm going to replace them with some actual nice bolts. But that's the oil pan, and it's completely installed now. And because I'm unable to resist, I'm going to go ahead and install another part. Uh, I just really want to see how it looks, but if I'm going to put it on, I might as well put it on for good. So uh, once again, cleaning up the surface before I uh, go any further to get the paint off. And I tried using the torque specs for here, but it wasn't going to go. It felt like it was going to strip all the bolts. So just uh, grab your regular ratchet quarter inch and just do it by feel until it's nice and snug and leave it there. Let the gasket do its work. Uh, basically what's happening here is you can see it uses these uh, small hex bolts. And you really can't apply that much force to them before they start to strip out. If you had an original part where it just uses 10 millimeter uh, bolts on it, you should be fine and you could reach that torque spec without a problem. But because they're using these uh, 
little cheap old add-in fasteners they're gonna strip out if you try to get to that torque spec so do it by feel and because I don't have the actual solenoid to install here, I'm just going to put the bolts in so I don't lose them. And a piece of tape will do to make sure no junk or anything gets trapped inside of here. And that's it for this video. So really, let me know what you think about this uh, format that I tried out here. You know, just really keeping it simple. Uh, so stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. A lot more parts to put on this engine. Like always, thanks for watching.